A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. So it's another glorious day here at the Chateau again and obviously back out in the wall garden to try and get this finished off this week. So we're more than halfway there now with the, the edging, as you can see behind me. All of this section's all completely done. So we've got all of the irrigation in and all of the edging in now, which is brilliant. We just need to go along and fill a, some of the joints in and then it's completely finished and look at the electrics. So we're planning on putting a fountain in this centre circle here and one on the opposite side as well. So we'll have like two small fountains and that'll sort of mimic what we're doing on the front. We don't want anything too grand out here. It's more obviously just about the garden really, but we do want the sound of like running water and stuff like that. So, and it's still running the powers for that one and for some lights as well, so we can get some lanterns out here. So that'll be one of the jobs that we'll get on with this week. But while we're out here, we're on with this centre circle now, where we were asking for a lot of your ideas. So it is a big, big circle. If you can see, it's like a massive circle. I think it's, uh, what size was it, Ash? Was it about 480? The yeah. yeah, for the diameter of the circle. I can't remember off the top of my head, it's on our plans, but I'm sure it's about that. So, it's a big, big area, and a lot of years were coming up with suggestions what to put in the centre. Now, we've put the irrigation in, in case we do have a planter here. So, if we've got the pipe up there, because we're running straight across it, we thought, well, we may as well watch there. So, we've got the pipe in, if we do have a planter, but a couple of these had a couple of other ideas of putting like a sort of a pagoda here which would be beautiful but I think it'd be too sort of overpowering because of the size of it and a couple of years had mentioned putting benches so I think having two benches one other side it'd be quite nice so we're going to look at that and then we're still in two minds what I'll put in the centre but for now we're going to crack on so Ash is just up to this section now of the circle so we need to get the blocks cut get them in and then go from there. So we'll crack on now.
So I've done as much cutting as I can fresh up to now while he's cracking on with the edging. Obviously he's getting there now, it's looking brilliant. But while he's cracking on with that, I thought I may as well come up here to the South Terrace and there's one job that we need to get sorted. Now, this concrete pad down here, if you can see, this was where the chimney was for, we think it was for the old furnace that was down there, like the old heating system because we've seen some old pictures when the porch was on and there was a big chimney that went right the way up here. It was obviously on the outside, so it wasn't like hidden like the other ones. And to be honest, it did look a bit unsightly. And at some point they've obviously took it down. So I don't know when it was taken down or who took it down, but it was still there in 2002, I think it was. So one of the owners, during that time has obviously taken it down and to be honest it looks far better for it so now the chimney's down obviously we're still left with these big concrete pads and we're wanting this whole section obviously filled with flowers so before we get the matting down here we're gonna have to look at breaking all this up or attempting to break it up anyway um, so we can get this out and then go from there really so and we'll have a look. I've got a big um, hammer drill thing to try and break it up. And then if it does come off, we'll use all of the rubble from it in the pathways for the garden, just so it packs it out so we're not wasting so much gravel as well. So I will crack on now and hopefully we'll be able to get it up. So, doing as much as we can in the garden for today. I've been chipping away at the concrete base and managed to finally get down to obviously the base of it, or obviously the mud. And yeah, it's been a bit challenging to get all the way down to it because we didn't know what was actually under here. Obviously it was just our guess that it was the foundation for when the big chimney was here. While I was uncovering it, I managed to spot um, an old drain pipe. So when we had the porch or awning on the back here, it would have had a drain pipe down and we found where that fed into. And then while I've been chipping away at the concrete, we found 
the actual drain pipe going underneath it as well, which is good. But like I said, it's been quite challenging because they've put loads of rebar in there as well. So the concrete wasn't breaking up nice and easily. We had to get to that. Once we got the rebar, then it was, it was quite easy to be honest after that because they'd infilled the whole lot with stone. So once we got down to that, then it broke up quite easy, which we're doing with the same with the paths. So all of the concrete that we've got here, we're going to put in the pathways just to help pad that out. Um, so one, it's getting rid of it, and two, it's going to help with the, the pathways as like a, a bit of a foundation for them, really. But yeah, it's brilliant. Like I said, I'm pleased with how it's turned out. Um, I've just got a long way to go. I think I've probably got about a quarter of it done down to the the ground but like I said it was just working out exactly what was underneath we didn't want to go too hard in case there was I don't know any pipe works for the old septic there even though it's not connected we just we still don't know where it goes so I'll show you obviously where I've got up to now and then show you what Asha Mama been up to so I've got the top layer off on all of this section and then as you can see here they've put big pieces of steel in just to help support the concrete. I've got a couple of pieces out over there and then there's these pieces and there's one big piece there. But just along there, you can see there's the old drain pipe and then it comes up just there, which is good. So like I said, I've got all of that down to the ground level now. So that's all back down to soil and at least then we can plant wherever plants we need to in here because this has taken up quite a big space of where this flower bed's going to go because it's only going to come out to probably where the bucket is so if you think we're only going to have that amount of space to actually plant plants in so getting it out it'll be a lot better at least then we can get a full bed of plants and it's going to mimic this side as well because that side we've got all the matting down and that's going to be a full bed of plants as well. So at least they'll both mirror each other. And if you didn't notice already in the video, scaffolding has been moved and we've cleaned that section of it. And you can clearly see there the line between it clean and it not clean. And when you stood back, it just looks absolutely fantastic. Well, I'll take you down. So, as you can see, I've been chucking all of the debris from the concrete pad down here. And like I said, it's, it's just, it's an easy way of getting rid of it. And then at least it'll act as a bit of foundation. And Ash is up to the final circle now to get all this done, which is brilliant. He's got the largest one done now. And like I said, just walking down here now, you can see what it's going to be like. It's just going to be amazing to walk down here and then like I said for whatever we're gonna have in the centre to walk around that and then you can come down to our other staircase which is all the way down there so mum has been busy digging a trench right the way along bless her right the way along the garden and right the way along there and that's going to be for the electrics to put in the lights so i think we're going to keep it quite simple to be honest with lights because we don't want to sort of overpower it so i think we're looking at having a lamppost in the corner there a lamppost in the corner there one in the corner there one in the corner there and then we'll have some spotlights to light up the fountain in the center spotlights to light up the fountain in the center there and some spotlights to light up wherever we have in the centre here. Just so it's not sort of too much. I think that'll be more than enough. But like I said, just stood here and just looking at it now, it's just fantastic. And seeing the difference with the, the colour of the chateau, it's just amazing. So we'll be able to get that section done next, get all that cleaned and get that dormer window all sorted and repaired and once that's done we can put a tower on the end here 
get that last section done and then come back and get that last section done and the back will all be done so that's it hope you've enjoyed today's episode i know it hasn't really been that exciting but it has now been tiring for each of us really obviously poor mum digging the trenches out it's been back breaking work me trying to dig up that concrete pad has been an absolute nightmare and then ash bless him laying all of the blocks but good thing is i think we've got one more pallet left to collect and then that's the whole garden complete so definitely by the end of this week is our target to to have all of the edgeways done and then we can move on to the next stage which will be brilliant i think from then the garden's gonna move forward so fast because all of the back breaking work's done apart from moving the gravel and then it'll be topsoil plants grass and yeah pretty much done <laughs> so hope you enjoyed today's episode don't forget to like and subscribe because it massively helps us and we will see you in the next one see you soon bye if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.